Hello everyone. I'm just coming to you today uh, to show you something I've been working on for the last uh, week or so. I've been taking my time um, trying to do it right as far as I'm concerned. Um, I was watching some videos and I saw Ginger at my sister's scrapper and she's a wonderful, wonderful crafter and she does so many mini albums and they all look so beautiful and different and I thought I'm going to try to find one of hers that I can kind of copy and hopefully it would be easy enough for me to do. So I did find one that she did in January of this year and it was a Christmas one but I went ahead and changed it for my own purposes and I just want to show you what I came up with. So as you can see here in front of me Oh, let me tell you first, I did use some paper that I found at Walmart, and this is the one, and it's from Colorbach, which is a pretty good brand, and they are single-sided, of course, and um, a lot of really pretty paper in here. I love the colors, and I think that's what drew me to it, was all the beautiful colors. And bright and springy or summery. So that was the paper that I used. Now I also used the black uh, cardstock from Michaels, the Re Recollections brand, and because I did want to do everything with the black background, and so it was a nice framing with the black. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the cover, as you can see, a lot of this I let the paper do the talking, if you want to put it that way. And I went ahead and used one of the sheets to do the matting. I also took some embellishments as far as words, positive words, and framed those in the black, put those on the front. I don't know if you can see those along the side or binding. I put some of the paper and then a real pretty pink flower on the back. Again, looks like a beautiful sunburst with a little butterfly down at the bottom. So that's the outside. I didn't make it very thick and I'm hoping when pictures go in it won't be too thick so I didn't do any kind of closure because right now there's no need for one and as with the embellishments that I've got it didn't make it that thick. So when you open it up first thing you see is the bright orange with the blue flower and a little sheet that says the facts. Who, what, where, when. So whoever has this album can write in those facts. The first page is a pocket page. It has tag there. Nothing on the back of that one. Larger tag here. I did put a mat in the back. Just again has a little word down there with a couple little flowers. Turn it over. Another place for a photo. Opens up. Very large place for a photo. And then a pocket here. Little journaling can be done on the back side of that one. And this one here I think is, yes, just plain. And do whatever you want with that. And again, a little word there at the bottom. Next page says possibilities. A few little flowers. Tag there. Large tag here. Again, mat on the back. Open it up. Very large section again. And then all the pages are the same, so they're going to have a small tag, another tag here. That one's got some owls on it. Again, a little word there says fantastic. Next page says perfect, with some flowers down on the bottom. Tag there. Tag here. A 
it says dream the small tag there another tag it says wish with a couple little flowers in the corners with the larger tag there I didn't back all of them I figured I'd leave them plain and someone can do whatever they wish in the back And all the paper is from the same paper pack. This one says live. Small one. Again, some journaling if you want it. Smaller one. Oop. Explore the unknown. This one just says peachy. A couple of flowers there. Another mat, another mat. This one here, I tried to do something different. I don't know if I like it or not. I just kind of made a little bit of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it, a little tab, I guess, so that you can put something in there. And then here, oops, sorry. Then there's the small side with the tags. And the last page says bliss, some flowers. Again, tags. Another tag back here. And there we go says cheers at the bottom and then the back cover I don't know I thought I was being creative I don't really know if I am or not if I like it I think I do but anyhow I put a backing piece of paper there uh, a pink on top of that then I use some of the paper from the paper pack I've got one two three four four pieces to kind of bring it up closer and then I took Actually, here it is. Washi tape on black cardstock and just lined it up, cut out circles, use that for the embellishments to match the flowers that I have down at the bottom. Something a little different, but I like it. So, that is my mini album. I did do the hinge binding as you can see in there. It's the second time I've done it. The first time it didn't come out too well. But this time I went back and I watched another of um, Ginger's videos and tried to copy it pretty closely. So I think it re looks really nice. And the pages flow nicely. So, I hope you all enjoyed my effort at a mini album. I'm going to try to remember to put Ginger's um, link down below. My sister's scrapper. She's just great. So, everybody, if you're interested, you can go ahead and watch how she makes her pages and her whole album, actually. So, you all have a wonderful day. Happy crafting to everyone. Take care. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.